Hello everyone. Today's gospel story begins with the disciples asking Jesus to increase their faith. It was a reasonable request given the sort of demands that Jesus had made on them. He had commanded them to love one another, bless those who cursed them, pray for those who mistreated them, do good to those who hated them, love him more than their families, sell all their possessions and give to poor, deny themselves, take up their own cross and follow him. And just before today's story, Jesus had instructed them to forgive without attaching conditions. The disciples instantly realized that these were tough demands. They felt that if only they had more faith, they would be able to follow Jesus' instructions. So they asked Jesus for a greater faith. But Jesus' answer indicates that more faith is not really the issue. He did not talk about the quantity of their faith, but the quality. He talked to them about the importance of having faith and what faith could accomplish. He said that if they had faith as small as a mustard seed, they could command a tree to uproot and replant itself in the sea. Matthew in his gospel uses a slightly different analogy. He writes that with faith as little as a mustard seed, they could move a mountain. Friends, uprooting an entire tree and planting it in another place is not a small feat by any means, even in today's technological and scientific world. So many might wonder how it is possible for a tree to pull itself up by the roots and plant itself in the sea. Jesus, of course, did not mean it literally. What Jesus meant was all things are possible to those who believe in him. The disciples had faith, but perhaps they did not have real faith that could bring some effect. Yes, Jesus wanted them to have true faith that could even accomplish the seemingly impossible. Jesus then told a story to illustrate his point. The story was about a servant who came home after working all day in the fields but still served his master before he ate and did not take credit for simply fulfilling his duty. It was his duty to honor and obey his master and serve him with fidelity. Similarly, Jesus pointed out his disciples that when they would have done everything they were told to do, they should still consider themselves as unworthy servants and say, they had done only their duty. Friends, what is the message for us? Like the disciples and every other generation of followers, we too often grumble about Jesus' teaching. We tend to close our eyes when we hear Jesus' instructions, for we know they are hard to take and hard to obey. We commonly ask, how can I love my neighbor as myself? How can I love someone who acts hatefully toward me? How can I offer total forgiveness to others who do not deserve it? Why should I share my possessions with others? How is it possible to render good for evil? How can I carry my own cross and follow Jesus? If I could not expect any special reward or even recognition from God, why should I obey Him? Friends, today's text reminds us of two things. 1. Faith in God is the key to removing obstacles and difficulties which keep us from carrying out God's commandments. The scriptures tell us, that without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith 
comes from God in the form of a gift through his word. It comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word of Jesus Christ. However, it does not take much faith to do great things. Even a little bit of genuine faith can help remove obstacles that might be in our way to accomplish amazing things which seem humanly impossible and even enable us to have mystical experiences. For our faith to be effective, therefore it must come with trust and obedience, an active submission to God and a willingness to do whatever He commands. When and if we surrender ourselves to Him, our Lord Jesus ever ready to work in and through us for His glory. Let us pray therefore to our Father in heaven, who has promised to give us good gifts including the gift of true faith, and especially to those who ask Him. 2. God has already chosen us to be His servants and given us all the faith we need to live our lives as we should. Therefore, we shall strive to be faithful and worthy servants of our Lord Jesus. We shall do our duty without expecting any reward or recognition for our service. It does not mean that God does not reward obedience, but that our obedience should never make God our debtor. We shall just trust in His promise that if and when we do our duty to God and others on earth, He will certainly and generously reward each one of us for the work we do. Amen. God bless you.